Well, hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. And today's question, do you really want to see the future of your cleaning business? Do you really want to see what your cleaning business will be like in the future? Well, there is a way to do it, but I ask because you may not want to. And I'm not just talking about you, any of us. Why is that? Well, first of all, because what we find out if I share with you where to look, it may make you, it may make us uncomfortable to actually see what the future is looking like. Secondly, we may not believe that that's even the case. You may think to yourself, how in the world will you know what my cleaning company is going to look like in the next couple of years? How in the world can you know that? You won't know until we get there. There's so many things changing, there's no way to know. But there is a way. In fact, with a pretty good degree of certainty, there is something that you can look at today, right now if you want to, that will give you a pretty good indication of what's coming up. Okay, so here we are. Do you really want to do it? Great. And by the way, just hang in there and be honest with yourself on this, and I think it can be really a learning experience and help you in the future. Sit down, take out a piece of paper and a pen, or pull up your computer, or your iPad, or whatever device you use, and pull up your calendar. Or, on the piece of paper, I want you to write down your schedule. Your schedule for today. What is your schedule for today? Now, I'm assuming it's not a weekend. So, if it's a work day during the week, what are you doing today? All day long, as far as this business you're in, what are you going to be doing? Why is that? Or look at your calendar. So, if it's on your computer, look in your calendar. If you do look at it, that's what you look at to see your future. Why? Because that's pretty good indication of what's coming up. If you find you're doing a lot of cleaning and you have no time for anything else, well, that sends you one message and that's going to be, that's kind of frustrating. If on the other hand, you're starting to put in more opportunities to do a little bit of marketing that you send out and more selling, well, that's kind of more promising, right? Because if you can keep that going, you'll have more accounts, mean more profit to you. You can build that up and then hire folks to take care of all the cleaning, hire and train folks to help you with managing and checking on accounts, maybe even what's next. If your schedule, your calendar is filled with things like putting systems in place, well that'll free you up. What if your schedule is filled with things like interviewing to hire a salesperson, interviewing to hire someone to do the hiring, an HR person. You can see the difference between if your schedule is filled with cleaning versus selling versus systems versus hiring and delegating to put people in place. Now, that's not easy to do and I realize that. But if we start sticking into our schedule activities to help us to get to the next step, then that calendar or that schedule is a better indication of maybe a better tomorrow of a company that could be bigger. You'll look back maybe then in a year or two or three and you'll say, look how much bigger I've gotten and how did it happen? By changing the activities in a given day, like today, like tomorrow's schedule, starting to try to change it to get to that point. You'll look back in the future and say, how did I get there? Well, probably because you changed your activities and a team of people to help you get there too. I hope that's the case. Don't get discouraged. Remember, we're in charge of it and we can always make changes and that'll change the future. Hope that helps you. Hope it helps your cleaning business. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can. Shake it and try it.